So our reasons to put an emphasis on circular economy, two points. Circular economy provides a solution addressing the problems caused by linear take, use, dispose economic model that has led to overuse of natural resourcing, threatening the biodiversity globally and causing climate change uh, throughout increased CO2 emissions. Number two, as a change in economic model is needed, opportunities for economic growth and jobs arise through innovation activities that are required to change the way to produce, consume and manage waste. This is true both in Finland, in South Africa, globally. And there are good reasons to work together to accelerate the transition to circular economy. Good governance is at the heart of our development policy and a natural focus area of our Fund for Local Cooperation work in South Africa. Corruption and misuses of funds are obstacles to development and to the realization of human rights. Societies need transparency to act against corruption. Good governance and strong and independent civil society organizations are essential for well-functioning societies. And as you know, South Africa uh, has very vibrant civil society, uh, which is like a counterweight to what the government does and what other instances does. So it's truly very important. The Finnish Fund for Local Cooperation, the FLC, is one of those transformative and impactful programs that is directly linked to uh, governance. And I think this fund, with its unwavering commitment to good governance and the circular economy, is more than just a financial resource. It is for us in South Africa at this time a beacon of hope. And it is programs like this that have this transformative effect that we must both support and also really demonstrate an appreciation of the thoughtfulness behind such initiatives. Good governance is not just about who gets what, when and how, but it is about how we create more accountability, more transparency in this process of the authoritative allocation of resources. We also believe that at its heart, good governance must be focused on the citizen must be focused on our people, on our communities. It cannot, as has been the case in many parts of our continent, and certainly even here in South Africa, it cannot be a process that is driven and solely focused on elites, that is political elites, economic elites, who uh, develop policies that allow them to take rents, and also in many ways implement policies that allow them to, to benefit themselves.